Soon soon everyone, welcome back to Mnix Plays Path of Exile Harbinger League 3.0. Last time around we defeated the Lunaris sort of soldier or the foot soldier and now I think we're getting ready to take the Sun and Moon Orb to the Harbor Bridge and summon Lun Lunaris as well as Solaris. Uh, in order to do that, let's get ourselves to the Lunaris Concourse. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be like the Imperial Gardens, um, where like up there is Lunaris Temple. I'm just basing this off of what I know from, I mean, Act 3. Um, and uh, Kion says, good, good, just woke up and getting ready for the grind. Yeah, I just got up myself as well. I've been getting up like real early, like right now it's 10.40, which isn't that early to be honest. I mean, you get up earlier for work, but I got up at 6.30 yesterday. And uh, I don't know, my sleep schedule is like all kinds of messed up. So yeah, based on just what I know about, you know, Act 1 to 4 and and what we did in Act 3, I, I'm assuming the entrance to Imperial Garden is where we get into the Harbor Bridge. I could be wrong, of course, but or it could even be down here. Huh. Uh oh. Corrupting blood. Oh, we're good. I don't have a staunching flask, so if I'm bleeding, I really don't have a way to remove it. Kind of bad, I know. I should be investing my currency, but. Ah. I should be doing it. Why am I not doing it? This is what happens when you procrastinate. Artisan strongbox. That could be good. Detonates nearby corpses, that's fine. Just gotta make sure you get out of the way of the detonation. Susan Ol Olazida. Hope you're having a good Saturday morning. Weekend PoE. This is my favorite part, man. Just get to... Oh, Harbor Bridge. Just get to enjoy myself, play some games. Harbor Bridge, like the docks? No, this is just a bridge. Lunar Scout, Lunar Champion. Okay. I mean, I saw some trailer videos, and it was like the Lunaris mobs were fighting the Solaris mobs. It looks super cool. I don't think I've seen that just yet. Maybe we're getting into it. Where's uh, where's everybody else uh, like at in terms of progression in the game? Because you know it's been a week for us. A week? Yeah, the game released on Friday, right? So now it's Saturday. We've almost gotten through the game. Which is actually pretty good, because from what I remember, doing Act 1 to 4 in Normal, Cruel, and Merciless took me like a good 2-3 to three weeks. We're almost done here, so... I really like the layout, they have nice mob density. Okay, okay. I feel like, just looking at this tile set, if it were in map, like I would run this all the time. Like This is... A pretty linear map and yeah density is good like you could get a lot of exp here i should have been farming here during my off time i had to like ended up farming elsewhere all right are we onto the solaris stuff yet no still lunaris I actually prefer Solaris over Lunaris, just due to the fact that the Solaris guys are doing cold and lightning damage, and sometimes it's chilling me, which actually destroys my DPS. So that's not very cool. Alright, alright, let's see. I leveled up, let's take our last 5% life on the life field, so now... I'm actually up to 3,000 HP. Um, I'm actually I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm ready to go here, take another frenzy charge, take a little bit more life and attack leech. Now I looked at some other builds that are out there. Um, a lot of people like to go this way, take elemental damage. I don't understand why. Like, I understand there's a lot of damage nodes here for, like, minimal cost. But you have to go through... Evasion... I guess it's just three bad nodes. I could take this part. Even take this for movement speed. I suppose it's not too bad. 
But the way I had it planned, I was gonna go through here and take this for more life. But maybe if I go through here, I can take this life instead. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? I'm okay with this. Soon, soon as that, I hope you're having a good day. We're getting ourselves into the PoE, you know, mentality, the the right mindset. Just, you know, just always thinking about our Lord and Savior, Chris Wilson, and hopefully getting uh getting some good loot. What is this? Banner of Hatred. What if I destroyed it? Nothing happens. I mean, what does that banner do? It's just... Oh, here it is! See? Assault Ribbon. Lunaris guys. I bet the Solaris guys are over here. Yeah! Okay, so they're like... They're like duking it out over here. Oh, yo, this is... Insane pack size! Holy crap! Yeah, fight it out, guys! Here, let me... Let me swing it in Lunaris' favor. Actually, say I destroyed these guys, what happens? Are there like more mobs flowing in? I don't think so, right? Let's go take a look in that direction. I wanna, I wanna keep going. I know I'm supposed to go into that temple, probably. Take the sun orb to the harbor bridge and summon... Actually, I don't know. I'm assuming I have to go in there. Doing good, trying to build an RF build without a guide and trying not to trade. Ooh, that's hard. Because Righteous Fire, at the very least, you need Rise of the Phoenix, not trading for it. That's a... Uh, is there a card for Rise of the Phoenix? I think there is, right? Whoa! Okay. Okay. Cloak of Defiance. How much are they worth now? Oh, my PoE trade macro isn't working that well. Crap. I want to know. Okay, well, what are the mods on it, at the very least? Can you tell me that? Hello, PoE Trade Macro? Oh my god! Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's buggy. 110 to 150 for energy shield. We have 112. So we have very low rolls. 100 to 150 for mana. We have medium rolls there. Okay, so it's sort of like... Eh... That would only slow me down. You can get from three different cards, get the shield every league except now. Man, you get it every time except for when you need it, right? If you don't need it, you'll get it. If you need it, it's like, fuck off. Okay, I need to hop on PoE trade real quick because I'm actually real curious. PoE trade... Cloak of Defiance. Buyout, yes. How much is it? Harbinger, right? Man, PoE trade is slow today. What? Are you serious? Holy shit! A cloak is 38 chaos? Dude, I expected like 5 or 6 chaos for one of these things. Okay, boys, we just have enough money for our end game, probably. Oh man! Oh man! I didn't realize. I should have been more excited. I saw Cloak of Defiance. I'm like, that's in a meta. It's the first thing I thought. I didn't realize just how deep into the meta it was. Holy crap! Okay, okay. Um, I mean, we have pretty low rolls. I mean, what's the most important... Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's go back to town. I need to, I need to figure this out. 
What's the most important role for Cloak of Defiance? Probably mana, right? Like, if you max out mana, probably it's worth a lot more. Oh man, PoE trade is so slow right now. Yeah, so maxed out mana is 95 chaos. Okay, so Cloak of Defiance, increased mana, mana, plus to maximum mana, maximum 130, search. Wow, I can't believe it's so slow. Happy to share my hard earned wisdom. No wonder my POE trade macro isn't working. Like, it's getting bombarded today. What's going on? It's hard to maintain a balance. If I take more life, I need more regen, so I need Vitality, Purity Fire, Stone Golem, Clarity for gaining mana when needed, a Flask because of MMM. Yeah, yeah, this new RF build has like a lot of uh, balancing that you need to do. Okay, um, so I have, what, 129 mana? I'm assuming the Evasion and Energy Shield won't be worth as much because... You get it because of mind over matter, so the more mana, the better. Maybe... Let's see, these guys have pretty high rolls, though. Like, this guy's at 41. I think 40 chaos would be reasonable to try and sell it at. Man, 40 chaos? Holy shit! Dude, it's been a very long time since I've gotten, like... An item that's actually worth anything, you know? I'm not like messing up, right? Like these aren't six link five or six socket five links or anything. No, this is just how much they're worth. Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh. Let's see. Okay, back to the bridge. Hopefully, um, we make a sale. The problem is, once we do make a sale, PoE trade is not going to update. It's going to be real annoying, I think. Guys, I'm pretty happy. I mean, that basically made... Like this whole episode worth it, you know? This is probably the most amount of income that we're gonna get for a long time. And that's kind of the point of playing PoE, right? Like, getting those items that it's like, holy shit. It's actually worth a lot. Now, obviously it'd be better if we find something that's worth a lot and it's good for our build. Like, if we find a Queen of the Forest, I'd be pretty damn happy. If we get, like, I don't know, Dream Feather, Hyon's, Hyon's Fury? I'd be okay with that. I kind of want to try dual Dream Feathers, but I, I know they're worth quite a bit, I think. Alright, let's, uh... I'm playing like a scrub right now, trying to full clear, but I just want to see the area and everything. Okay, so what is this? Statue of the Sisters. Okay, so you put orbs in here. You have to kill both of them? Holy shit. This is amazing. Look at these two fighting it out. Alright, who do I want to support? Guys, who do we support? Who do we help? Who do we kill first? We kill both of them? Should we? Oh, no, but Lunaris is bay. Look at her. Look at that. Oh, shit. Let's not get into crossfire. Like, Lunaris looks so much better than Solaris. Hard fight? What if I c kill both of them at once? Will they turn on me? What if I just let both of them get really low and then kill them? Like, are they turning on me? They are turning on me! Ah, oh, shit! Mistakes were made! Oh, wait, are they turning on me? Yeah. Not so much choice? Okay. 
That's an interesting rippy fight. Shit, you guys are making me scared. Okay, okay, I'm gonna pay attention. I'm gonna stop looking at chat for a bit. Well, was it possible to just let the two duke it out and then, like, fight them when they're low? Is that a thing? Oh my god. Woo! Be scared, very scared. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an eye out. No more chat. No more chat. No, it's not possible. Okay, okay. I thought because I summoned my golem that they were like, oh, this guy's fighting us. Okay, let's stop our petty fights and, you know, get rid of this ranger instead. But if that's not the case, okay. I thought I was gaming the system. Holy crap! What's going on? Okay, we should do full charge dashes because it looks like I won't have time to do like mini ones. Okay. Oh, what the fuck is that? I don't think they want to kill you before solving their grudge, Kappa. It's worth a try. Oh, shouldn't have done that. I'm okay. Alright, so far so good. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. I don't know what to expect. I mean, maybe there's a second phase or... But I'm doing okay. So far, I'm not getting destroyed. Pots are a little low. As a matter of fact, why is there no way of refilling my flasks? Like, you're making me TP? Like, what is... Ooh! Okay. Charge dash is pretty cool. It's like a little un unintuitive, but you can sort of use it to get out of like projectiles while doing damage. Wait, I am getting fast charges. How? Let's go. Almost got him. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's pop it. We're popping it. It is so lit right now. Almost got her. Man, why do I have to kill Lunaris first though? I gotta kill the Bay. Like Solaris is like the angry sister, you know, but Lunaris, she looks so cool. Fuck's that. Oh, that's cool. Oh no, wait, no. Yeah, like half of the thing is back, half of the, half of the orb, because Solaris is, uh, Lunaris is dead. Or that's half the moon, right? Solaris has a cool shield, I want it. Is there an MTX for that? Unfortunately, I don't even use shields, so I mean... It, I guess it doesn't matter, but... Oh! Oh, those are the act bosses! Amnix makes it look easy. Honestly... That was okay. That was an okay fight. Like... I'm allowed one death per act. This act, I died right over here. So I... I I really didn't want to die. I never realized there were act bosses either. Seemed too easy. Um Yeah, that was actually pretty simple, I think. That was a that was a good fight. I I, I disliked the Doidri fight much more. The Doidri fight was a real pain in the butt. This was this was okay. Alright. Sin, what do you have to say to me? The dark ember remains nestled deep within the putrid flesh of my dead beast. With many of Highgate's tunnels now collapsed, we must forge another way inside. Before us lies a weak point in the beast's flank. It is an ancient Wait. wound wrought by that what? demolish over. This is not what he's saying. The wound was healed shut by a thick membrane. 
but the right Sin, are you okay? The tissue He's bugging out. Inside. Of course, for a cordial of such potency, I shall require two ingredients of utmost rarity. Sin? First, it feels like Act 69 are super phase rolled and Act 10 is just retarded. <laughs> okay. I, I believe in Cocaine Cutie a, a lot more just because he's he's a better player than me. So if he says Act 10 is stupid, then I, I believe it. Not that this was like an easy fight either, to be honest. Like it looked easy, but you know, I can see how if you're a melee character or someone who stands around a lot, like that, there's a lot of damage there. Reduced, oh no, the Arakali, what did I get? Oh, Solaris, I had, oh, two major gods, both of them? Okay, so Lunaris is additional physical damage reduction for each nearby enemy. Increased movement speed for each nearby enemy. I'd like that. Physical, they nerfed the ST mobs, so I don't know how bad it is after the nerf, but the spectral throw mobs are really bad. Yeah, I heard a lot of complaints about it. 20% chance to take 50% less area damage from hits, 6% physical damage reduction if there is only one nearby enemy. So I guess this is like good against bosses. The Pantheon system is a little um a little underwhelming, don't you guys think? Like I think the idea is once you get into a fight, you switch around your Pantheons to fit like the situation. Like if there's a lot of damage over time, you get, you know, like Soul of Arakali reduced damage over time or if uh you need more movement speed, you know, you, you get the soul of Lunaris, or, you know, if someone stuns a lot, a lot of damage, you get the Brain King. But it's like, I don't ever remember to TP out and switch these out, and it's like, why? Why are you doing this to me? If you want Act 10 to be easier, it's going to be nerfed. Those mobs were crazy. Okay. Okay, so Arakali is okay, I think. Reduce damage over time. No, that seems pretty dumb. I kind of want the Lunaris one. More movement speed is pretty good for charge dash. Physical reduction for each. We're going to be with it, like... We're going to be surrounded a lot when we play um, charge dash. And Sol Solaris seems like better against the... Um, like bosses. Because... Uh, if there's only one nearby enemy, if you fight a boss, you know, it's there's only one, you get 6% physical damage reduction. And a lot of bosses like like uh, like Malachi or Vol or whatever, they have like these big slam attacks. 20% chance to take 50 less area damage from hits. I guess it's okay. Like this is an okay like god like boss killing power or like Azaro or something. I don't know. Is there anything else I want? Definitely, I want ref reduced reflect damage taken for just normal clearing. Just kind of talking to myself, thinking over these god powers, and I don't know. This system is weird. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Blood Aqueduct. So we're going back to Act 4, really. Holy shit. This must be like the beast's blood that's flowing in the aqueducts. Is that what it is? Like... The beast is probably like, you did this to me. Like, we did this. This is our fault, right? We destroyed the beast and now... Just blood. Blood! Blood! Everywhere! Brian King is mandatory for Act 10? Okay, good to know. I'll get on that. Like, it's interesting in the sense where it's like you kind of have to do a little bit of theory crafting on when to use god powers and what situations to use it. And like, the every little bit helps, I understand that. But sometimes the biggest problem is I just forget to switch it around. I forget it even exists. Maybe over time as I play more, um, I'll get used to it. Go, go. But I mean, the aqueducts haven't changed too much, right? It's still the same place, it's just blood everywhere now. I swear to god, that's the beast blood. You can, keep, you can TP to skip aqueducts? I think it's a bug, but it works. What? 
What the fuck? That is a bug. What an odd bug. Okay, well, since it's our first time going through it... What? That's not, like, normal, because typically you TP back into, uh... Into Sarn. Like, that's how it should be. Submitting bug report. Please wait for your bug report number to appear in chat. Then take a screenshot and post in our bug report forum. 4119. Ah, man. So much effort to report a bug report. Like, to, to report a bug. I gotta go into the forums and everything. I thought it was just like, oh, thank you for your bug report. Like, what's the case? That would only slow me down. Clearly, I've never submitted a bug report before. I'm sure a lot of people have reported it, though. Let's just walk. I know it's not very far. I mean, how many times have we done aqueducts in our lives, right? Just kind of blow through it. Is that bird still there? That's what I'm wondering. Like, what's the unique boss for this area now? Hmm. Like, this is where the bird used to be. Warding flasks also work on curse mods. Yeah, I, I'm like definite that's a bug. Like, there's no way that should work. Warding on curse maps? Like, no. Even if they say it's intended, I'm like, that's stupid. Like, what's the point of running a curse map if you can just bring a couple warding flasks when you fight the boss or something? Hmm, get that EXP. Kinda need it. What level am I? 66. I actually can consider buying... Obviously not when PO tra PoE trade is, you know, like this, but... Like, 66 is a high enough level to start buying sort of your mapping weapons and your mapping gear. So that is a definite possibility. Obviously we're, st we're still in... It's kinda crazy, you're level 66 and you're still in Act 9, so it's like you're in Act 3. Okay, I, I guess I can see it. Okay, sin. The dark ember remains nestled deep within the putrid flesh of my dead beast. With many of Highgate's tunnels now collapsed, we must forge another way inside. I have divided. I was sixty-five at the end of Act Ten. Planet, okay. An ancient wound wrought by that Dalish overreacher, Doriani. The wound was healed shut by a thick membrane. But the right decoction should dissolve the tissue and Okay, the so we got a couple fetch quests. Oh, they don't know. I can see on your face you haven't heard. It's Kira. She's gone mad. Absolutely false. What? She's abducted a yon. Stolen off with her into the desert. And to make matters worse. The whole of Highgate is in a state of disarray. There's beast blood in the water. Usurpers are eyeing up the throne. And the old gods have risen. If you want my advice, get out of Highgate. Or save us. While well, you still can. You must have encountered men and women like us before. Relic hunters. <clears throat> yeah, Hargan was one. Dirty currency flipper. Anyway, Vanya and I are the best in the business. And we need your help locating a particularly rare item. Sweet. I was working in that time. It's an ancient sword belonging to the Maraketh goddess Garakan. The Stormblade, some call it. A weapon carved from crystal, capable of capturing even the most powerful... Find the blade for us, we'll make it worth your while. The goddess lost it. We do this ourselves, but with the political unrest... Okay. Dude, like, so many characters are fucked up. Like, you come back and... Like, what happened? What? <laughs> okay. I mean, Kiro's gone mad. Nessa became a mermaid. Silk fucked the spider. 
Hey, this is an interesting. The mods are low, but maybe if anyone wants it, I'll put it into guild stash. Holy shit, guild stash is full of stuff now. Steamless touch, obliteration, the princess. Nothing I want, but. Okay, so what quest do we have right now? Recurring Nightmare, Sin needs you to find some Trarthan powder and Basilis, uh, Basilis acid so he can burn a new entrance into the beast. Search the refinery and the boiling lake for these ingredients. The Stormblade, find the Stormblade in the desert and deliver it to Pataris and Vanya in Highgate. What the fuck happened to Kira? Please, Vanya, don't say it. Say what? I told you so? Well, I never trusted Kira. Her need to control she was like a warrior, right? Or a hunter? I held much faith in. Yes, but ambition is not the problem. I have ambition. Do you not Sorry, uniques and veil orbs I don't need going there. Oh, it's okay. You're not about to go killing everything that moves in exchange for a bit of power now, are you? Well, I trade dreams of power for dreams of you, my sweets, any day. All right, we're done here. <laughs> you must be Irasha. So this is the new Pataris or gem seller? I am Irasha. And while our soft-hearted chieftainess is gone wandering, it falls to me to make sure this Akara doesn't suffer for it. Oyun is gone for but a few days, and already Tasuni sniffs at the throne like it's a bitch in heat, ruled by a man. You need only walk amongst the ruins of Sun to understand that folly. Well, his desires are but wants and lusts while Oyun still lives. One of my scouts saw Kira and her Dekara near the foothill. Okay, yeah, save her. What the fuck happened to Kira? I'm so confused. Kira captured Oyun and peaced out? The bitch looked at me day in and day out and proclaimed herself loyal unto death. She has shown her true face in the end. Once I thought the old gods were worthy of honor. What the fuck? Is Diala still here? No. Anyone have some information on what happened to her? Is she dead? After what happened with uh... the other whispers now. My sister Kira has grown obsessed with the vulture of the waste. Garukan. Goddess Garukan. Sacrificing her. Oh my god. Imagining she can Why? So Sin created the beast and now we're trying to revive the beast because he's the only one that can control all these gods. Lady Diallo, what the fuck happened to her? The treacherous deeds and blind <coughs> love, the gemling queen has taught as much. Oh she died. Her body remains here, surrounded by flowers. Surrounded by flowers. I'm gonna look for her grave. Would that be possible? Surrounded by flowers. Yo, that's Diala, right? Oh shit! She sacrificed herself to help us kill the beast, or to get the gate open. Okay, okay, I understand now. So we just need to go into the next area. Kira, because Kira doesn't agree with Oyun's decision to let exiles into Highgate. Oh. Oh, man. Alright, let's get into the descent. That must smell really bad. Yeah, why would you just leave a rotting corpse there? Like, shouldn't you at least put it in a casket? And then, you know, bury it? That's the whole point of it, right? Maybe she's mummified. Uh, even then it smells bad. I don't know. Maybe she's so old. She just kind of dried out. There's like no meat on her anyways. Hi, how long is this stream online? Uh, currently we are, we've been online for 40 minutes. And we'll probably be playing for... Another two hours or so, give or take. And after that, I need to go have lunch. I need to add, like, one of those bots where you can have some commands, build, uptime, all that stuff. 
Honestly, we've never like gotten to that level on Twitch, you know, like typically we only have three or four viewers, so I never thought it was important, but maybe... Maybe it's a thing? I don't know. There's all this stuff you need to add. I just want to play games, man. Okay, so this was... We, we did this when we were trying to travel to Highgate. Or not Highgate. When we were trying to travel to Oriath. Going to be a big player. <laughs> I don't know about that. But you know what? I do appreciate you guys coming. Taking your time off from your day to come watch. I really, I really do appreciate it. So thank you. You know, I, I, I don't say it much, but... You guys are the ones that support me through all this, so thanks. And at the end of the day, I'm just trying to bring my favorite game to everybody. Which is why I'm like so happy that 3.0 is out. Because it's so accessible for new players. And it's like... Supply hoist. So we go this way? I feel like a kid at a candy store right now though. Like all this new content. All this new stuff. Harbinger is mad though. Yeah, Harbinger is like... You're picking off pennies, right? It is kind of meh. I don't know how I feel about it. But to be fair, it's like this league is 3.2, uh, standard 3.0. Just think of it that way. Just replay the game and, and then go back to your normal mapping. There's really no league. Got a bug with the kill act 2. My Katava kill don't count even if I challenge, if I got the challenge confirmation currently doing maps. What the fuck? Good thing they're making it harder and more rewarding in a week or so. Yeah, I heard about that. More harbingers and maps, right? And better drops. It's going to get harder. Yeah. I kind of expected this, to be honest. I kind of expected, like, a Rampage League of some sort, to be honest. Like, I didn't think they would have enough time to add a proper league. Given all the content that's, like, already here. And I was ready to forgive them. Because they've already blown my mind. But I understand that there are a lot of players who are like, cool, new 10 new acts, but like I still want to get my mapping on. I still want to you know, get all the good gear. And having a good league is important for that. Like Breach was so good to just like farm EXP, get items. There's so much quantity and currency. It was satisfying to play. Harbinger is like... It's like a weird Parandus League mixed with something else like beyond I don't know already some people have 40 challenges really my mapping character got nerfed still leveling because it's OP anyways what what build are you playing cocaine okay do I have quests here oh the descent oh I'm still in the descent Oh, I'm still descending. Oh. Necro support again. Oh. Yeah, your build did get nerfed. But supports are still good. I would like to buy your Cloak of Defiance for 40 Chaos. Oh. Yes. But isn't like Necro support pretty hard to level just because? Woo! Money! Boys. We're swimming in the cash. Well, figuratively. Ready for the hunt? Really, 40 chaos. Not that much. But it's meaningful to us. I mean, we've we've increased. The number of chaoses we had from 5 to 45, that's a that's a huge deal. So just simply based on marginal utility, we've gained a lot. In the grand scheme of things, maybe not too much, but... Cloak of Defiance is 150C in, in hardcore? What the f 
Man. Oh, guys, if you haven't, if you guys can't tell, like, just this little bit. I spent a crap load of time decorating, right? I'm like, oh, what should I put here? Oh, that's a little totem. What should I put here? I just went in and I like, I like this new MTX system they got. It's pretty cool. You know? Let's put some fern here. Make it look nice. I'll put a little tree over here. Yeah. Yeah, let's put in, let's decorate a little bit. I never really spent much time in the hideout. Actually, this is stupid. The map device is there. But I feel like I want to make a nice hideout. Pitowin. <laughs> I got my shafts for 200C when people thought ES was shit. It's already risen to 300C. Shavs will never be shit. I, I can't think of a... Like, someone's going to want to go low life, you know? I think there's a special chat channel which is specialized in doing challenges for currency. Yeah, like 820 or something. Yesterday saw a hideout of the week, it was crazy. I wish GGG would, uh... Like, it's nice that you have hideouts, but there still isn't enough... Um... I, I don't want to say support, but like, you could do more with it. Like, if you could release hideout templates, that'd be pretty cool. and sell those hideout templates. Yo, that's a market and a half right there. Like blueprints? You create a hideout and then you get like blueprint items and you put that in your hideout and people want it because it's hideout of the week. Boys. We uh we second life now. What was that game? Second life? Obviously, it deviates from what the game actually is, but I know there are some people who really pay attention to their hideouts and actually matters to them. And, like, I would like to have a nice hideout, but it's just such a pain in the ass to build. But if I could just, like, get some kind of blueprint and all I have to do is, you know, farm up the favor to, like, buy those items, like, I'd do it. That businessman. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so we are finally in the desert. So over here, we need to get the storm blade. Okay. And the only reason I even thought of this was because I was watching, uh, what was it? Drop, drop frames. I was watching drop frames yesterday, the other day, and they were like, you know. New players would, it would be a lot more accessible, or, or the passive tree would be a lot more accessible to new players if there was like a, maybe like a drop down, and it's like, here are the top five starting builds, and here's how it was built. And it just like highlights, you know, the nodes for you. I'm like, that is like, not a bad idea, because if you're an experienced player, you really <clears throat> wouldn't care about something like that. But for a new player to see like a pre-built thing, like even now Ziggy D, he's telling everybody, like, if you're a new player, you know how, like, when people used to go on Reddit, they're like, Hey, I'm new to Path of Exile, how should I play this game? People are like, oh, just make your own build, you're gonna fuck up your build, but don't worry about it. That's the part of the game. But I think a lot of people fuck up their build and they're like, this game sucks, I can't... I can't, like, do anything, right? But, even Ziggy D's like, yeah, these days, like, if you're a new player, just go online, search for Path of Exile starting build, and play a starting build. And I kind of, I kind of get it, because that's kind of the way to get new players in. Just gotta get them to have a build good enough to get into maps and then and then they're hooked, you know? Like, I think once people get into maps, that's when people really are like, oh, this game is... Speaking of cool, are these guys riding, like, fucking dragons? Or, or, or dinosaurs? I haven't been paying attention, but what the fuck is this? That's going to come, I think? I think there's, like, a... Like, a... Um, like a tree planner that's gonna be part of the game where you can sort of like right click on nodes and it's gonna highlight. What oh, are any raptors? Rex of Fury. Yo, I'm a raptors fan. It's 
It's my home basketball team. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Shit, dog. I heard... I heard a master somewhere in the distance. I mean, just sort of subconsciously I ignored him because I really don't want to do it. But right now it might be... Might not be the worst idea to do a Haku mission. I mean, we're pretty fast right now. I learned it on my own without guides. I just like trying to design a build and failing at it. Oh yeah, definitely. Like that's a suitable playstyle. But at the very least, even if you go on your own, it's nice to use guides as like a reference. You don't need to follow it, but you can like I use it sometimes to be like, well, what are other people doing? Why are they doing that? And you've got to try and understand it. I think the problem with guides is a lot of people follow it blindly without really thinking about why it is. Um, and I mean, I mean, that just comes down to a mentality that the game can't do too much about that. But at the very least, it, it, it can sort of... Uh, like, I would like to see, okay, what are some builds? like, Or maybe they can even do, here's like 40 points of a base Marauder, you know? doesn't even think about ascendancy I don't know I think it would be cool just so you can the new players can follow a guide of some sort without having to go online search through all these guides and having to figure out all this stuff okay there's a current spirit my first build was a marauder with 80 with what 80 skill points in 10 plus strength nodes I somehow thought that would be useful died so hard at prison act one oh man Yeah, my first character was a Marauder too, actually. I played Ground Slam. It was awful. Died so much. And then my second character was a dual... What was it? Oh man, it was so bad, my second character. It was a dual strike shadow, which doesn't seem so bad, but this was before Melee Splash was released. So it was literally single targeting everything. I'm like, yo, look at how much DPS I have! And then everybody was clearing faster than me. And this was this was prior to uh like not too many people were streaming PoE at the time, so I couldn't really compare myself to anyone. But my buddies were clearing really fast, like And they were pretty new too. They were like playing Flicker Strike. I had uh, Kevin was playing we, we were playing at the same time. Um so by the time I had my second character, he was building his first character and he made an infernal blow character i mean i guess he's good at theory crafting because he's like oh yeah this aegis thing it looks really good so he bought an aegis at the time for three chaos and then made an infernal blow aegis character which was like insanely tanky and had a lot of damage at the time too and then there was me with my shitty ass dual 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 strike uh shadow right no ascendancies obviously and I'm like, shit, I don't have any AoE clear. What do I use to AoE clear? Oh, I know. Whirling Blades. So, th you know, there I was in Merciless Ledge, dying to everything, unable to clear anything, and just like whirling blading through packs to try and get my damage in. Oh, so bad. There weren't too many alternatives, to be fair. Like, there was Lightning Strike, and like, maybe that was it. Like, there weren't that many good skills back then. So bad. My such a bad character. It was level 55 and that's when it hit the wall. I couldn't get past Act 3 ledge. Or sorry, in, in, uh, I couldn't get past Merciless ledge. Like, I was dying too much. And I made it CI. Because I was like, Energy Shield seems so cool. I want one of those. I had a... Uh, had 2000 Energy Shield. Oh man. Memories and it went Ghost Reaver too. Oh my god, it went Ghost Reaver. I'm like, I'll, I'll just like, uh, Ghost Reaver, Energy Shield. Like, it, it makes sense. Like, you know, I can evade. All my evasion characters are bad, I always get one shot. Yeah, I went evasion ES and then I'm like, fuck the evasion, let's just go CI. When I started PoE, Veil Oversoul was the end boss. Yeah, oh, that's a long time ago though. Long, long time ago, probably even before. That was like pre-alpha. I think I played in closed beta. Like when you still had to pay for those $10 keys. Hmm. 
when was that? 2012? 2013? Something like that. Not 13, 12. Oh, here's a sword. I'm getting pretty good EXP, actually. What level is this area? 61? Wow, I am, like, super over-leveled. Holy crap, I didn't realize just how much... Yesterday night, I was just, like... I kind of like to play Path of Exile to wind down. Um, so, sort of, like, I'm ready to go to bed. I play some Path of Exile, and then I slowly, slowly just... Lull myself to sleep, because, I mean, you're just, like, doing this the whole time, and... Just chilling out, watching some streams, you know... So I was doing that, I, eventually, I got so tired, I found this Arcana Strongbox. I'm like, holy shit, Arcana Strongbox, right? That could be good, because for those of you who don't know, Arcana Strongbox drops uh, currency when you open it. Um, and not just like, you know, quality currency, like legit currency, like Chaos Orbs, like Transmutations, all that stuff. And I'm like, it could be an Exalted, it could be a bunch of Chaos, it could be good. I should go back and roll this box, it was a white Arcana Strongbox. And then, uh, I don't know what happened. It's just like, I kind of blinked. The next thing I knew, I was like in another zone. I forgot where the box was. I just like fell asleep while playing. And I was like, all right, time to go to bed. So I kind of do that every night, you know. Yeah. And I don't stream it because it's like, I'm not really progressing. I'm not really talking much. I'm just kind of chilling and winding down. The next thing I knew, I'm level 67 in a level 61 zone. All right, we're going to try and go towards those frenzy charges. Armor scraps. Yeah. Storm weather chest. So, do I have to fight a boss or do I just get the item? Okay, yeah. I'm not surprised here. You think you're gonna try to charge dash the Beyond Sturge? I mean... Mathel's already sort of... Showed off the build. I could try it, but it's expensive now. That's the problem. I kind of want to try Dream Feathers. I wanted to dual wield. That was my original idea. And I mean, it was everyone's idea. Like, you see this build and you're like, oh, okay. It's 2C for me? It's. I don't think it's 2C on PoE trade, is it? I mean, I could try it. Should I start collecting gavels? Doesn't matter. I don't think it matters, but let's do it. On hardcore. Okay. Dibions are still one chaos on softcore? I guess I could do it. It seemed pretty strong. Like, I was watching Mathel play and I'm like, dude, this guy has a lot of single target. Like, what's he doing? I was actually hoping to see, uh, like, I think Ziz was gonna make a charge dash build. I was hoping to see what he was doing. And see what they were doing differently. One thing that they did was, or they didn't do, was they didn't go to the Scion Life Wheel. But I decided to go there. I don't know if it was a good decision. Now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe it wasn't all that worthwhile. On Softcore, Ziz says he didn't like it. Okay. I had four waiting for Matho and it never went up. Yeah, man. That guy's like... Mathel build sometimes, you know. But it's a good build, the, the Dibion Sturge. Like, he had a lot of damage. You kids in your discords. What am I doing? I shouldn't be here anymore. See, this is what happens. I get into, like, a... Into a groove, and I just kill stuff, and... It's just so fun to kill things. I don't know what it is. Uh. 
Nope. 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 What's this? Nope. Stormblade. You did it. They found it, Pataris. They found it. By the gods. Garukan's famed Stormblade. Do you know what this means, my sweet? Once we find the right collector, well, we can go anywhere, have anything. We will be like royalty. Hey! That's good. I could get a jewel socket. I want my frenzy charges though. Okay. Uh so we have completed act 8. Going slow through act 9 uh, ever so slowly. Hopefully we won't die too much. Um I, I, we seem to be doing pretty well and I seem and like I'm over leveled clearly. So I'm not too worried. Act 10, obviously, I'm still a little concerned. But that's probably it for this episode right here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, you could leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Otherwise, keep in touch, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, soon, soon.